Hello everybody, my name is Lee Stemkowski and I'd like to welcome you to this video series entitled Creating the Basic Adaptable Game Engine Library. In this video series, we'll be creating a framework using the Java programming language that will enable you to create a series of video games. I call this the Bagel Project for short. In this first video, I'd like to tell you a little bit about the project. So in this project, uh, the acronym you might have noticed is BAGEL, B-A-G-E-L. But each of these words has a very particular meaning. First, it's a library because it's a collection of Java classes organized around a single purpose. In particular, that purpose is to create a game engine. A game engine is software that enables people to create video games you know, quickly by creating reusable components for commonly needed tasks. This library is basic because it's minimal. It's the core functionality you need to get a video game up and running. It's also basic because it's going to be built from first principles. This is not going to be part of a pre-existing Java library. We're just going to start from the original Java classes. And finally, uh, this library is adaptable because the purpose is not to create just a single game. The purpose of the library is to be able to create a variety of games. Some classic arcade games, and possibly some games of your own design. So the hope is that this library also proves to be flexible. You might have noticed the logo for this project is also shaped like a bagel. This is a reference to the classic arcade game Asteroids. In this game, you control a spaceship represented by a triangle, and you try to shoot these jagged polygon shapes, which are the asteroids. But if you think about this game a little bit more deeply, there's something interesting about the game world, and that if you take the spaceship and if you move it past the right edge of the screen, you would appear on the left edge. If you move the spaceship past the top edge of the screen, you would reappear along the bottom edge, and vice versa. So what is this universe actually shaped like? Imagine for a moment that the screen, the asteroids game playing screen, was a sheet of rubber that you're able to pick up and move around and bend and warp. Imagine taking this left edge and bending it around so it attaches to this right edge and then gluing those edges together. You'd end up with a tube. And then imagine taking the top part of that tube, that top circular part, and then bending it around so that it joins up or meets the bottom edge. The result of these attachments would show that the universe is actually shaped like this. The mathematical term for this shape is torus, but I like to think of it as a bagel. Or you could think of it as a donut, your favorite breakfast pastry. Take your pick. As an added bonus, this is actually one of the games that we'll create with the library in a future video. Now, the plan, this is a series, so there are going to be a sequence of videos on this topic. Now, I've created video series before, but in the past, I've noticed my videos tend to run a little bit long. So instead, this time around, it's going to be a series of very short videos. I'm going to try to keep the videos to between 5 and 10 minutes each. And these videos will implement the Bagel project in Java. In theory, you could do it in other programming languages, but we'll start with this one. Because we'll be programming in Java, we need to use some kind of a development environment I'm a big fan of the IntelliJ development environment, which you can download for free at this website. And in some of the videos, I'll be doing some live coding. Some videos I'll talk about foundational principles or the underlying mathematics. 
I might talk about game design or documentation for specific games. But for the live coding sessions, I'll be using this software. I do recommend you follow along in code. I think it gives you a more full appreciation of the library. But you don't have to use IntelliJ. You can use whatever library you wish. The video series will be in basically three main parts. Approximately the first third of the series will introduce the absolute minimum core functionality we need to create a game. And we'll talk about that first game in the next video. I think one of the simplest games you can create would be a collection style game. And the one I like to create is called Starfish Collector. After creating that core first example of a game, we'll move on to add some more advanced features to make the game look more professional and polished. For example, we'll add solid objects and more refined collisions. We'll simulate physics. We'll implement animations and some other features as well. So we'll improve upon this core game in the second third of the course. In the final third, we'll see just how flexible this engine can be. And we'll work through a series of case studies, other video games that can be implemented with this library. The three games I'm planning to implement will include Asteroids, a Breakout, and a platform style game called Jumping Jack. Altogether, over this series of videos, we'll be implementing a total of 16 classes in Java, plus a series of example games, Starfish Collector, Asteroids, and Breakout, which extend these core games. And in case you're not following along and entering code, I will actually post all the different code files online in a GitHub repository. Once we get to one of the live coding videos, I'll share a link to that repository then. And I'll also put all the images that we use for the different video games up there as well. Or you're welcome to use your own images as you wish. Well, that's about it for an introduction to the Bagel project. And in the next video, we'll talk about more specific features of this first game project, Starfish Collector, and the various classes that we're going to implement for it. Until then, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.